Hey everyone. All right, so you ready for a haul? How about a Mac haul? How about a Posh Paradise haul? <laughs> um, can you tell I'm excited? I, I went a little crazy today when I went to the mall and I uh, got some things that I want to show you. And I have some other things too. Um, let's start with, let's start small and work our way up. <laughs> I have this mirror in my pocketbook, um, handbag, purse, whatever you want to call it, and it had like this really ornate cover on it that looked like a work of art and everything. It was beautiful, except for one problem. It was extremely heavy. So I was at Bed Bath & Beyond uh, about, I don't know, a week ago, and I saw this and I said, perfect, because my handbag is so heavy, I've got so much junk in it that I had to get rid of that mirror, even though it was pretty. And I just got this. And it's just a very small mirror, and it has, like, regular mirror on one side and then the magnified on the other, and I think it was a dollar at Bed Bath & Beyond. So if you need something like this for your bag, they're in the um, travel section where they have, like, all the travel size uh, containers of things. And then... The reason why I needed to make my bag lighter and the reason why I was in the travel section is because I'm going to be going on vacation. So this coming week, after this week, there's still another week, I'll be making videos just like always. And then the week after that, I'll be on vacation. I may film when I'm on vacation. I might not. We'll see. Um, usually hotels don't have that great a connection speed, so even if I did put a video together, it might take hours and hours and hours to upload, and, you know, nobody wants to hang around their hotel room on vacation, so I would probably wait until I got back, um, unless there is a really fast connection speed. We'll see. But if for some reason I don't end up filming, which is a possibility because, you know, when you're on vacation, you just want to have fun. You don't want to think about work, which is <laughs> kind of what YouTube is in a way for me, um, you know, being partner and everything. But yeah, so if for some reason I don't film, I'm sure there will be videos on my husband's channel. And there already are. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, my husband also has a channel on YouTube He's not actually in the videos, he just films the videos, and basically all he does is he takes videos of places that we go on vacation or things we might do on the weekend. So if you want to see that, it's um, the name of the channel is Mr. Vegas Tripper, and um, I'll put a link in the description box so you can just click on it if you want to see it. But we've been, uh, oh, we're going to um, Las Vegas. And we've been there many, many times before, and he's taken tons of pictures, videos, everything. So he put some things together and, you know, put it on his channel. He used to have a different channel, but I don't know. He, he keeps closing his channels and starting new ones. I, I, I can't explain it. <laughs> I don't get it. Um, so since we're going on vacation... And it's always, you know, well, not always, but it's going to be hot when we're there. It's going to be in the 90s during the day. So I wanted to get a couple more pairs of shorts. So last night we went out and I got these. I got these cute denim shorts. And I got these sort of turquoise type color Bermuda shorts. And guess how much I paid for them? seven dollars each on the clearance rack they're both um faded glory brand and my husband got some shorts too and he got a good deal his were only five dollars each and they were exactly what he wanted in terms of material style color everything so we made out really good with that and remember those sandals i showed you guys maybe a week ago how pretty are those gonna look with these um turquoise shorts so yeah I like to wear shorts out there because it's really hot. So, um, oh, and don't ask me where I'm staying because it's just not a good idea to give out detailed information like that. I'll tell you all about it when I come back. But, um, yeah, I don't want to give out that information in advance, you know, just to be on the safe side. So, um, okay, the rest of the haul, let's see. I also went to Forever 21 today. 
and I got another package of those heel guards and these are the things that you put on the inside of your shoe and the reason why I got those is because I know I had already gotten some of these before but they really they worked out terrific I took a pair of shoes that were uncomfortable that rubbed on the back of my feet and I put those in there and now I can actually wear them <laughs> yay so these are great they only cost two dollars and eighty cents and you can reuse them you just like wash them and stretch them back into shape and they're good again I'll do a video on it if you guys are interested um, but yeah so thumbs up on those it's mystige accessories heel guards gel pillows to cushion your heel so I got some more of those, you know, just in case I wear the other ones out or whatever. And I got this nail polish. Yes, I'm finally going to try the Love and Beauty Nail Polish by Forever 21. And this is bronze. Now, the only bronze nail polish that I have is, I do have Brisbane Bronze by OPI, but it's just a mini bottle. So I figured, since we're heading into that season, that um, this would be great for fall and winter. And their nail polishes are $2.80, just like the heel guards. And, um, okay, so now on to the MAC stuff, which is probably all you really wanted to see anyway. So let's start with the Posh Paradise stuff. I got some Posh Paradise stuff, plus I got some stuff from the Permanent line. Of course I got the paint pots. Well, not all of them, but I got some of the paint pots. This is Pure Creation. and do a swatch for you and that's the color and it's like um I, I would call it i would describe it as a turquoise blue i think mac describes it as a medium blue and it's nice and smooth and creamy and i got half wild which is the mid-tone purple one And that is also nice and smooth and creamy. Basically, these paint pots are great, except I would stay, you know, for me personally, I would stay away from the bronze one because it's chunky and glittery and doesn't go on nice. So I think any of them would be a good bet, but not the bronze one. This one is called Nubile, and this is the one that will most likely sell out because it's like a peachy color. And I think a lot of people, well, yeah, a lot of people uh, will be able to use this, like, instead of painterly or soft ochre. It's one of those colors that's just going to be a great base for pretty much anything. Because, can you even see that? When you blend it in, it's just, uh, you know, skin tone, well, for me anyway. But even if you have darker skin, I think that, you know, you could definitely make that work. Because it does sort of seep in a little bit. So I got those three colors. Very excited. Never had a purple paint pot. I, I don't know if they've ever even made one. And blue is a shade of blue that is just really pretty. And then the other one is just going to be very practical. Now, I also bought some things from the Permanent line that I'm very excited about because, you know, the Permanent line oftentimes gets overlooked because everybody's always focusing on the collections. But I was doing some research the other night and I was reading up about different MAC products, colors, whatever, and I saw this. This blush is called Dame. And how pretty is that? Let's watch that for you. And it's, I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. Maybe I should make that swatch a little darker. But for me, this is a good color blush because I am so fair. It's just a really pretty blue-based pink. And I love it. I can't wait to try it. I just got it a little while ago. And then, how come I've never seen this lip gloss before? This is in the permanent line. This is called Cultured. And you know what? I'm going to do even better than swatch it for you. I'm going to put it on. 
Right now for lipstick I have on Essence Fairy Tale, which let me show you that because that's pretty too. So I'm going to put the lip gloss over that. So this is called Cultured. so pretty. Yeah, why have I never heard anybody talk about this? That's gorgeous. And I think that would go with so many things. And I also got an eyeliner. I got a Technical eyeliner and the color is called Earthline. And why, again, why have I never heard anyone talk about this? If I hadn't started, like, checking out on my own different things, look at this. Is that a great color or what? I mean, black a lot of times looks too harsh on me. And eh, brown is okay, but this is kind of a cross between brown and gray. And I just think this would work with so many different looks. You know, a lot of times when, if, if you are somebody who black doesn't look good on you, black eyeliner, a lot of times you'll do an eyeshadow look and you're like, all right, now what am I going to use for eyeliner? Because sometimes brown doesn't look quite right or gray doesn't look quite right. Well, this is the perfect alternative because it's right in between. So that's what I got today. Very exciting. Love, absolutely love everything. Of course, I haven't actually <laughs> worn these products yet except if I just put the lip gloss on. But how pretty is that? Isn't that a gorgeous color? So for the rest of the products today, I'm wearing my shirt is Faded Glory from Walmart. My necklace is from Five Below. This bracelet was from Target. Um, this ring is from JCPenney, I think. Um, yeah, JCPenney. My watch is Style & Company from Macy's. And for makeup, I'm wearing L'Oreal Studio Secrets Magic Perfecting Base. Revlon Photo Ready Foundation, Essence Forget a Concealer Palette, the peach under my eyes, the tan as an eyeshadow base. My blush is NARS Orgasm. Eyeco Cream Highlight. My eyeshadows today are from the Urban Decay Naked Palette. I used Virgin as a highlight. Sidecar is on my lids. And Toasted is in the crease. And I don't think I had used that combination before. I really like it. My eyeliner is L'Oreal Extra Intense Liquid, uh, Liquid Pencil Eyeliner in Bronze. My mascara is MAC Zoom Lash Mascara in Zoom Black. I filled in my brows with Revlon Color Stay Brow Enhancer in Blonde. And I just told you that the uh, lipstick is Essence Fairy Tale. And then I just put the MAC Cultured Lip Gloss on top of it. And I didn't have a chance to change my polish because I had um, a doctor's appointment this morning. So I just, I know that's not like me at all. <laughs> I didn't have time to change it. So uh, that's, that's what I got. And most likely, um, this video was recorded on Thursday, but I will most likely put it up on Friday morning. So... I will see you guys next week then, and have a great weekend. Bye-bye.